Hey everyone, so this video is going to be a really quick review on hair products that I've been using. I mentioned in my Weed Ad review that I was going to try to do like a hair product video at least like once, maybe twice a month, just because I have so many things and I want to give you guys like honest opinions and thoughts about stuff and let you know about like stuff that I've been liking. Um, because I get questions on what I use in my hair like all the time and if I can do an updated hair care routine, curly routine, blah, blah, blah. I can't really do, I mean, I could do an updated curly hair routine like every week and use a different combination of products, but it's the same method. It's just the products that I like, which I try to introduce to you guys whenever I find things that I really like. All right, so what I'm going to talk about today is going to be the Proganics Coconut H2O and Electrolyx Quench Leave-In Moisture Plus Nourish leave-in cream somebody please let these companies know that it is okay to have a very simple name like we can still like products and try them if they don't have to have like every single ingredient and what it does in the title Anywho, and then also the moisture balm so all these products are coconut water and electrolyte based um to give the hair like a lot of hydration like they're really just for like thirsty hair to like really like supercharge the hair and get it back healthy and nourished and um nice feeling i guess you could say so as far as the shampoo and conditioner i mentioned them in my last empties video and i said that i like them however i didn't think they were necessarily anything to like write home about so i do still stand behind that i really I mean, I didn't have an issue with them. I just am not really picky when it comes to shampoo and conditioner. I pretty much use anything. Um, the shampoo and the conditioner are both like eight and a half ounces. They retail for like $9 a piece at Target and probably more expensive at drugstores and Ulta. And then I don't know if they sell the Progranix brand at Walmart, but it'll probably be around that same $9 mark, which $9 for a shampoo and a conditioner is not like... I guess that's nowadays that's like average back in the day that was like expensive you know shampoo and conditioner used to be like four or five dollars a bottle but i guess that's like you know average it's definitely not high end um would i retry those again possibly but i don't really know what i'm going to talk about now is the leave-in moisturizer or detang conditioner or whatever and then the moisture balm love these products um this one i actually just recently ran out of which i'm kind of sad about so i'm just going to read to you what the claims of the leave-in conditioner are um it is supposed to be a unique lightweight curl defining mist that is infused with agave nectar combined with high performance silica perfected in the salon to boost and maximize curls creating flawless frizz free spirals with super curl retention superior curl retention and memory for soft bouncy tendrils that last all day basically i like this stuff a lot um i think that it definitely highly moisturizes my hair i really like to use it um, as a leave-in conditioner however i also really enjoyed using it as like a curl refresher and the only thing i can say about it however is that as far as like a mist it kind of like it's a weird hybrid it's not a very liquidy product it's kind of like a lotion so when it sprays out you might get like a concentrated piece like you know splatter like in your hair but I kind of just like will spray it all over spray it in my hands pour it into my hands and just like drench my hair in that stuff and it feels amazing gives it really good slip the hair feels really soft and it does what it says like it gives me frizz free curls that have a lot of moisture that have a lot of like curl retention like bounce to them and they last um and then so i would use this as a leave-in conditioner and then over it i would just use the moisture ball which is kind of more like a cream it's a little bit thicker than the leave-in and if you guys have been watching me for a while you know normally i go in with the gel because i like a lot of hold but recently i have been liking like really light light fluffy hair like big hair hair like this this is three day old hair. I used this, but I had used it. I used a different leave in because I ran out of that one. But I mean, it gives me a lot like, it's not a lot of definition and I'm okay with that, but it gives a lot of like really just like soft, fluffy, healthy looking curls um, that just, 
smell really good and they're just like really nice to the touch my hair doesn't feel like really dry and i love that especially for like these warmer months that are coming up i want like extra moisture also so as far as the moisture balm i'm going to read you the claims on this one this one is supposed to be a shine enhancing texturizing smoothing strengthening and volumizing pomade um so i think that the combination of these definitely give me like shine texture they smooth, strengthen, and volumize my hair. Like This is big hair for me. Big hair, very soft to the touch, lots of texture. It moves a lot um, and I love it. I don't, I don't know, I've just been loving like big fluffy hair recently. And this is a way that I've been like getting it without compromising um, like the integrity of my hair like I feel like a lot of times the bigger the hair like maybe like the drier it gets or the more frizzy it gets but it's not it's not bad at all and these products are readily available like at the drugstore so if you're not a huge gel fan then definitely check out those products um that's pretty much it for this video I just wanted to make it super quick and if you guys want me to review anything else like leave it down in the bottom bar but thank you guys so much as always for watching and I will see you in the next video bye